my name is Joe Bergen. Al Cerula. Jude Traxler. Chris Graham. Mike McCurdy. And I'm Nick Woodbury. And we are Mantra Percussion. So we're here because we are uh, performing Timber by Michael Gordon at BAM uh, December 13th, 14th, and 15th. Um, this will be the New York premiere of uh, this evening length work. Um, Michael Gordon wrote this piece um, for us, a group in the Netherlands called Slagwerk Den Haag, um, percussion group of the Hague. Uh, and for a dance company, actually, that Slogwork toured the piece with originally, um, and their name is Club Guy and Roni, and they're based um, in Den Haag, uh, Netherlands. Uh, the instruments we're using are Samantra from uh, Eastern Orthodox churches in, from the 6th century. Uh, what Mantra is using are Douglas fir, which are indigenous to North America as well as Asia, which are, which are basically evergreen trees. Uh, basically what we've done is suspended them on homemade sawhorses uh, and suspend them at nodal points that, that allows the Samantra to resonate and to get all these beautiful overtones. And what's nice about using the wood we're using, it's, it's, it's very imperfect, which allows for more overtones that are amplified throughout the piece. So when, when you're hearing this in the performance, every performance is different. So that this performance you're going to hear at BAM is going to be a, a glorious performance, but every time you hear it, it's going to be 100% different due to things like weather and how we're playing, amplification and things like that. We have our 2x4 right here. Uh, as you can see, it's suspended uh, at two nodal points, uh, close to the edge, about, I'd say, four inches in. Um, we're the piece is written for six players playing six 2x4s, uh, so the way we have it, it's graduated from high to low. So the player here to my right is playing the highest board, I'm playing the second highest board, and it gets lower all the way down to the sixth player. Um, the way this instrument works, uh, it sounds different depending on where I hit it. Um, if I play closer to the edge, closer to where we're suspending it, uh, you'll hear the sound sounds very tinny. It's, it's almost like using a filter, uh, and you're moving the filter to select different, uh, different harmonics on the board. So uh, one aspect of the piece um, that's uh, really interesting because it, it carries out throughout the entire piece is this idea of um, this moving, um, this moving uh, volume that travels from high to low. Uh, we're all basically playing, um, for, for most of the piece, uh, the same rhythm. Okay? We're all playing uh, in unison, um, but you hear the sound move around because of how we're getting louder and softer. Um, so from the beginning of the piece, um, the sound moves very slowly, and then as we build up energy and intensity, it gets fast. The rhythms get faster and fa faster, and the sound gets faster and faster. Uh, then it starts. Out, uh, then it slows down again and builds up and builds up. So it's this whole idea of um, yeah. of expansion and contraction um, that happens throughout the piece. But e each part of the piece uh, happens uh, in different ways.